guys, Game Fame Fan of All Games here, and I'm back for another drama script. It's Saturday, even this is uploaded on a Sunday. I was very busy yesterday, so I'm uploading the predictions of Extreme Rules, the day of Extreme Rules. We're just, well, as I'm recording this, roughly eight hours away from the, the WWE Raw Extreme Rules pay per view, and I'm going to give you my predictions on the matches. Uh, the first match is Rick Swan and Sasha Banks versus Noam Dar and Alicia Fox. Uh, I'm going to give it to Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks and Rich Swan are going to come away with the win on this one. Then we have the WWE Cruiserweight Championship match, Nedville versus Austin Aries in the submission match. They usually give it to the face the third time. So I'm going to say Austin Aries finally uh, wins the WWE Cruiserweight Champion. And I expect this to be... Uh, another good match because both their matches have all been really really good so third time's a charm they're going to give it to Austin Aries I'm predicting that they're going to give it to Austin Aries because the face usually always wins on the third time so I'm going to go to Austin Aries uh, Raw Tag Team Championships the Hardy Boys versus Cesaro and Sheamus in a steel cage match uh, remember the third time's a charm if they always do a third match I always expect the team that lost the first two matches to win the third time. So I'm going to go with Cesaro and Sheamus beating the Hardy Boys and probably even breaking the Hardy Boys even more. So I'm going to go with Cesaro and Sheamus. Uh, Royal Women's Champion Alyssa Bliss versus Bailey in a kendo stick on a pole match. Horrible idea. I'm going to give it to Alyssa Bliss because I don't see... WWE making Alyssa Bliss champion and taking the belt right off for them to give it back to Bailey, so I'm gonna give it to Alyssa Bliss. Intercontinental Championship match: Dean Ambrose versus The Miz, and if Ambrose gets disqualified, he will lose the Intercontinental Title. This match so does not fit the pay-per-view that I think something stupid's gonna happen, like Maurice is gonna attack The Miz, and then the Dean Ambrose is gonna get disqualified. And then Kurt Angle is going to come out and restart the match and make it an Extreme Rules match. I have a strong feeling something like that's going to happen because I have this, it's just no way in a, in a pay-per-view called Extreme Rules, you have a match that has rules. And especially if the, if the champion gets disqualified, he loses his title. So that's what I predict is going to happen. And then we have the Fatal Five way for the number one contender for Brock's title at Great Balls of Fire. Still can't believe that's actually a thing. Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Bray Wyatt, and Samoa Joe. I have Roman Reigns coming out on top and I have him pinning Bray Wyatt because you know all Bray Wyatt does is lose. So I have Bray Wyatt taking the pin for everyone here. And it doesn't say it's an elimination style or not, so I'm just going to assume it's a one first first pin victory. So I have Roman Reigns pinning Bray Wyatt. And Roman Reigns is back to the number one contender for Brock Lesnar at Great Balls of Fire. And that is my predictions for tonight's Extreme Rules. Uh, feel free to leave your thoughts and predictions in the comment sections below. And until next week, guys, I'm Game Fiend Finnable Games, and I'll see you next time. Later, and peace.